Welcome back everyone. You may be having an issue with your iPhone where for some reason it's just not connecting to Wi-Fi for some you know, reason. I don't know why the reason could be, but the first thing I'd recommend doing is going through and going back into your Wi-Fi settings and seeing which specific Wi-Fi connection you're trying to actually connect to. Now there can be a ton of different situations where the Wi-Fi connection you're connecting to for some reason has a random issue within it. So if you're trying to connect to a Wi-Fi connection that you've never connected to before, you may want to double check that you're connecting to the right Wi-Fi connection. Check the right name and the right password. Whenever you go ahead and most of the time connect to Wi-Fi, you have to actually connect to using some type of credentials. If it's a free public Wi-Fi, you may still have a little pop-up that comes up of some sort stating, hey, do you want to sign in or do you want to use it as a guest Wi-Fi? You always want to click guest Wi-Fi if you have the option to, and you probably will get slower speeds. But that is one thing I would recommend making sure is understanding that you have the right credentials. If not, try logging in as a guest. If you're logging in at like some of your friend's house or something like that, all you want to do is go ahead and make sure that your Wi-Fi connection right there is fully compatible. And as long as you have an iPhone that supports that type of Wi-Fi band, you should be good to go. You can always go ahead and swipe down in your control center right here too. Hold down right here, view your Wi-Fi connection there too. And as long as your Wi-Fi is on, then you should be good to go. A majority of the reason why this ends up happening is because your Wi-Fi connection of some sort, you just don't have the right credentials. Now, let's say you can verify 100% that your credentials are right. Well, the next thing I'd recommend doing actually is checking to see if the router itself is bad. So if you have the option of going up to the router and restarting it, well, I'd recommend going up to your Wi-Fi router, holding down the buttons to restart it and restart that specific router. I think a majority of the time, this may also end up fixing it for you as well. And that's another thing I'd recommend looking at. If that still doesn't fix it, you may want to restart your iPhone. So go ahead and hold down the buttons to restart your phone. Usually it's the power up, power, power up button and the volume up button as well. Slide the power off, see if that ends up fixing anything. If that still doesn't work, I'd probably recommend connecting to a different Wi-Fi temporarily and seeing if you can update your iPhone that way. But usually those are the main ways to go ahead and fix your iPhone in this specific situation. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that means so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.